Bitcoin has been down for seven straight days. The last time it did that was when it crashed in 2019. So do I think the final top is in? No. However, I do believe that we have an intermediate top setting its place in Bitcoin and that could last for a few weeks. Let's dive into that today on the chart so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. We're also going to look at Ethereum and decide, figure out where we are on the charts with Ethereum as well. So remember to hit the subscribe button so you're up to date with the time sensitive content. We have been covering this for months now. In the last couple of weeks, I have loaded the Investor Accelerator crew. If you're not a member, join the membership down below. And I've also mentioned it on the channel last Sunday before we crashed. So remember to hit that bell notification icon so you can do something free, easy, cheap, and see the notifications when they come up as we track the markets. You like the video? Let me know. Hit the like button down below. Let's punch it to over 3,000 likes. You guys can do it. And be sure to get here before the scammers. All right, with all that said, let's dive across to the charts. Now, before we hit the charts, let's look at the fear and greed. This thing is mental. 37. The fear is super real out there at the moment in cryptocurrency. And if this isn't your first rodeo, then you're probably uh, familiar with how these markets tend to trend. And if crypto is your first rodeo, but you're familiar with the stock market or other markets, you'll know that this is just part of the cycle. However, if you are new, this stuff is the scariest times because you've probably bought in the last two months. That's when retail came in. I'll have a look at that on the charts to show you where. And now your investments are either break even or you're down 20, 30 percent, something like that. Maybe you're up 10 percent. Maybe you've done a fantastic job and you didn't get into any of these coins at the top and you found some gems that have taken off like uh, safe moon. But if you haven't, then this is a very, very scary time in the markets because maybe you've invested everything and you just want your investment to go up and you, you don't have any money left. This is a really important time to have some money on the sidelines. That's why we always talk about taking profits on the way up, regardless of the market going further. That is a very important part to have in your plans. Looking at the market caps, Bitcoin has dropped under the trillion dollar market cap. Willy Woo from Twitter says it wasn't ever gonna happen again. This is why you can't believe anyone 100% on the internet, including myself. This is why you really need to educate yourself because a lot of people are put up on pedestals on YouTube, on Twitter. And at the end of the day, the market will do what the market wants to do. We just look at probabilities of how we expect these things to play out based on what we've seen in the past. That's about it. So the real point here is to stay with the market through this time. Now, it could last a few months where we are just beneath the old all-time high on Bitcoin and that won't bring in new retail. Retail generally comes when the market breaks new all-time highs. They're the ones that get suckered in, don't make the good amounts of money. When the market is down, it's when the smart people are buying the markets. Now, you don't have to buy it on every single dip. Every day that's red, you don't have to buy. We'll look in at today's chart to look at better opportunities so that you're not buying on every down day and just hoping for the best. Uh, Ethereum, 264 billion, Binance just short of 80, XRP 50, Tether 50, Cardano has crashed it, crushed it all the way down to $1.12 again, 36 billion. It did hit 89 cents on the dump yesterday. My target, you see from the other Cardano videos, I was thinking the 50% point, really high probability uh, area to hit, we hit into the 80s. I said it at the time when I was talking about it, like, I can't believe that we could get there. However, this is what the stats say. We are looking at a 50%. I'll show you that on the charts. I'll do a Cardano video today, so uh, stick around on the channel. Dogecoin, of course, that was inevitable. Inevitable that a nothing coin that has nothing being built on it would pump and dump extremely hard. It got down very quickly to the support level of 13 cents, currently bounced back up to 24. This might be a sucker's rally and I suspect on Bitcoin over today, so the trading day has already started the following day, or in the next zero to four days, I believe we'll get a bounce back. And I, I see that as a sucker's rally, a dead cat bounce, something like that. Let's take a look at the first chart. So this is Bitcoin over here. This is the weekly. This is my buy level, which you saw in yesterday's video, basically just updating it from yesterday. Now, the buy level was around the 46K level, and I had many reasons for that. Obviously, if I see the market continue to fall and I don't see a reversal, 
then I'm happy to let it slip a little further. Now, I did say I don't want to get greedy and try and snag this thing at 39,000 or, or thereabouts. Uh, so anywhere around that 40 to 45, which I've mentioned multiple times, is a pretty good level in my opinion. That would be the first time that I would consider entering new money into Bitcoin. So just understand that. It's not like I'm going to be buying everything at the one hit, but I'm considering entering new money at those that, that price level because of what I see on the chart. Now, over to the daily chart. This is the interesting part here. We peaked on the 14th of April, inside day. So if you don't, like I have bars without color. We don't need the color. We just need to look at the highs and the lows. Where are they forming? Because that tells us everything we need to know about the market. This day had a higher high. This was a, a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high lower high, you get the point, lower high. This has been a long time. I think I said seven in the intro, it was actually nine days. Nine days with lower highs. This has not happened. I've scaled, uh, back tested this whole market, all of Bitcoin. Has not happened since the crash. So this was when Bitcoin ran up from its $3,000 low up to its close to $14,000 peak. And the last time that happened, it, well, it happened here, but it was seven to nine days. So I've got here uh, that we peaked out and then had a few inside days. So if we're counting every single one of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days, similar to what, we, what we're currently seeing. And then we had a reversal of one, two, three, four, five days up before we continued with the downtrend. This happened multiple times from that high. We had six straight days down, a bounce back. Seven to eight straight days down, small bounce, crash, and then a solid recovery, but that was a sucker's rally because we ultimately continued to fall for several more months. And then ultimately we led into the COVID crash. So this looked like it was recovering, but this was the final piece to put in place a very strong bull market because it cleaned out the weak hands. While we still have weak hands in the market, it's very hard to move up. And this looked like a bit of a low, but it didn't happen. Uh, so really what I'm getting at here on Bitcoin is we have not seen this many days down since that point in time, which was the high was in June. So we've seen a, now, we've, we've seen a high in April and maybe people go away. Like the old saying is, sell in May, go away. We're getting very close to May. You know, give it a, a week or two either side. And we have a period of summer where people aren't in the market. So I'm prepping for that this type of scenario if we happen to stay beneath these highs for several months to come. Now, in videos coming up, we might look at measuring time frames, how long Bitcoin takes between cycles, looking at lows to highs. So you can go and do this yourself, measure the days from lows to highs, major lows to major highs, how long the market stays beneath these highs. And this will give you an idea of when to generally, it's not an exact point in time, but around about time when the market can come back. So rather than thinking and hoping tomorrow the market's coming back and you see like a 5% increase or a 10% increase and you basically got your fingers crossed hoping that the market continues to go across 60,000, 61, 62 and you're seeing on Twitter and YouTube posting, people posting a, a, a number of 52 grand or 53 grand. It means jack shit. It honestly means absolute jack shit posting those numbers. I like to do it because it stirs people up. Uh, maybe that's a bad thing from my end, but I'm not all like serious. So sometimes a bit of fun and games with posting numbers is a bit of a, a joke, but if you can understand it, which is why you're watching this channel, then you can see straight through it and uh, you can basically feel more confident with what you are trading and investing in. So I know I've given you a bit of a long ramble there, but these are the, the scariest times for people because we have done nine straight days down and all people have seen is losses and pretty considerable losses. I'm gonna look at Ethereum and uh, the Bitcoin dominance, but think about a very strong cryptocurrency which was going nuts, Theta. Theta had peaked, so this is a weak rally into a new all-time high and that's a telling sign that the market's about to dump. So we got strong volume, punched through the highs, closed underneath. And that's why I always say, if you've watched the channel so many times, we want to see the close above the previous highs and then another day at least. One day is a good start, but you wanna see that second day. Otherwise, this sort of thing can happen. 
And so theta was, you know, it's going nuts. Everyone's trying to buy into this thing. It's the next best blockchain, YouTube, whatever the, the narrative is. I'm not saying it's a bad project. I'm going to get into this when I see my, my buy levels, but it's already tanked about 54% from that absolute top. And we're starting to see some volume coming in, which is a good sign. We're closing above the 50% at the moment. If this level doesn't hold, which looks like an accumulation, then I would definitely see something like a $4 theta. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds incredible to imagine, but this is what happens with altcoins. And when it's up at these levels at 12, 13, 14 dollars, you can never think that it will make it back to these levels down here. It just happens with these. All right, so Ethereum, this is looking like the strongest crypto to me. And uh, I've got a couple of notes here as I've been covering the the time frames and the prices on the channel. So if you find value from it, let me know. Hit that like button down below. If you want to see more of this, hit the, hit the like button. And if you want to be updated with it, hit the subscribe uh, down below. So I'm looking here as a consolidation level above 1800. That's pretty straightforward because of our, uh, there we go. So about 1860, but I'm just saying 1800 here. So that's our previous resistance zones. And then anywhere up to around that 2500 level, give or take. Of course, if Bitcoin starts to move up again and ETH also does, and this is going to move, uh, break through those tops. But currently, I think we'll probably see just a little bit more time in this region. I say 1800 because it's not going to concern me if we drop to that $1,800 level. It's something that I have in mind to prepare myself. You know, I'm not freaked out if we go to 2000, 1900, 1800. I will be freaked out if we break through this low here. That's going to con concern me a lot if we get past 14 or 1300 that to me might signal that shit this was a, a false bull, bull market on ethereum and i have to wait a lot longer for this twenty thousand dollar eth or ten thousand dollar eth but for now this sort of level up here is a pretty good consolidation level i think we'll probably be up here for about four weeks minimum based on previous time frames that we've covered on the channel already go back and check that video out i think it's a couple of them are titled around thirty five hundred dollar ethereum and during this period uh, as ethereum accumulates up here then the moving average is going to increase as well. Currently, the moving average is around, what am I got, 1400 here. So yeah, it's at 1500 and it's increasing by about $80 every week. And so by the end of this week, in a couple of days, we're gonna see about a $1,610. Give it another couple of weeks, it's gonna be up around 18, another week or so up into that 1900. So even if it tested its 20 week moving average at 1900, still looking strong. So this is how I can see a bullish market, even though prices can be down a lot. And in Ethereum's case, could be down, where's 1900? Could be down 20 to 30% from that high. Currently, ETH is down 13%. So ETH has been the strongest performer out of these major cryptos during uh, this recent dump. ETH BTC looking reasonably strong. See this close? We have another, oh, this is a weekly bar chart. So we've got another two days to go and hopefully we can get that close above the 0 0.046. So that's the level there. That's the top. That's why I want to see it above that level there. You've seen what happened with other cryptos when the markets do not close those levels. That's the first sign. It's not the guaranteed sign because you need multiple signs to give you that signal, but that's the first sign. Uh, if you want to know more about this, there's a free newsletter down below. Just drop your email address click on that, join free newsletter, comes out every two weeks. You'll get notified on how to start learning about cryptocurrencies and trading in general. So you can use it for stocks, you can use it for anything. This is applied to any market. And of course, there's the 12 month membership to the Investor Accelerator, which you can sign up to, link down below. Last thing I wanna have a look at here is Bitcoin dominance. Now we talked about this as Bitcoin broke through these lows and that was it, yeah, from the 58 level. And we were looking for our first target of 54, slice through that. 50, next target. This is uh, using GAN double top uh, theory and then projecting the FIB levels down. So 150% of the double top. Check out yesterday's video to understand it more. 50, next level 48. And then obviously, uh, ultimately, I'm looking for around that 42 level and probably beyond, but for now, this is pretty good. A lot of volume. This was looking at to, we were looking at this to see if our alt season was coming up and we got a little bit of an alt season, but now nothing. And so looking back here, the total market cap's 1.85 trillion. So money is flowing out of Bitcoin. Ethereum is holding up the market. 
because it has a pretty high market cap and it's the next major cryptocurrency. And uh, Bitcoin continues to lose dominance. So money is flowing into some other alts. It might be flowing into stable coins. So here is uh, Tether at 50 billion now. So that has obviously increased a little bit here. And then we have a USDC coin. So it can still be losing its dominance, which it clearly has done to the stable coins and to Ethereum at the moment. So that's how we can still get this market moving down. I was expecting a little bit more of an alt season. We saw a slight one, but it, by the looks of it, it was a fake out because we got that slight break to the upside and a fall. What can you do? That's all we can do at this point. Now, I'll leave you with Bitcoin. So the, the dominance is down. That's how it can still be down. And we're not getting an alt season. Put those two together and that's what we got. Bitcoin, like I said here, that's, that's my buy level. So we're gonna continue to track this. Ethereum looking the strongest. Unfortunately, <laughs> For our portfolio, which you can find uh, if you've continued to track the, the channel, using SwiftX, link to this is also in the description down below. It's an affiliate link, so you guys will get 10 bucks of free Bitcoin when you sign up using the link down below. Uh, this portfolio was doing much better, but we had a dump on all of these major cryptos. And you know the stupid thing that I did in this portfolio is I sold the Ethereum in the portfolio for freaking Litecoin. You know how much I... I wouldn't say hate Litecoin, but I know how crappy it is. It doesn't really do too much, but there are times when it absolutely explodes for a few weeks. I was betting on Litecoin exploding for a few weeks. Didn't happen. Ethereum held its ground. Had we not sold Ethereum into Litecoin, we would have had a much stronger portfolio. This is a good lesson because Ethereum is much better uh, hold for a longer term project than Litecoin. Lucky this is the demo portfolio and you guys can learn and see from this the mistakes that we can make and what we can do to improve our chances of having a better portfolio, something that's gonna retain more value. Uh, I did sell ETH and put some into the graph, which did go down, the graph is here. Link, that's link here, here we go, graph. Link has held its value pretty well, so that's a good sign. Um, Cardano also bounced back a bit, but it has dumped and graph i still think that's going to have a boom but it's going to be a lot later unfortunately that was a mistake there but you live and learn this is investing i won't make those mistakes next time i will stick to my guns i don't care if ethereum doesn't go up as fast it is the stronger hold for a portfolio if we don't want to do too much work on it so i'll wrap that video up there guys thank you very much for watching and understanding and tracking along with me be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification icon if you want to be updated with the charts and understanding where these cryptocurrencies are going and why uh, i know there's a lot of news that's come out so we'll hit that in another uh, future video there's obviously the stuff on biden talking about uh capital gains tax may maybe doubling capital gains tax from 20 percent to around 39 percent for capital gains over a million dollars. Plus there's a few other details in there as well. But at this point, I'll leave those news details for a future video. I've got a few more coming out today, plus a big mistakes video. So stick around for that on the channel. Thanks once again, join the free newsletter down below. Like, share, subscribe if you found some value from it. Share it with a friend that needs to see this. Of course, people are freaking the hell out. And I'll catch you guys on Twitter, Instagram, and back on the channel for another video. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.